So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below. Hit the like button and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Again on this week's back issue comic book review. I'm going to be doing the 1995 Elseworlds title, Batman Brotherhood of the Bat by Doug Mullins. It's been 53 years since the world began to fall. 53 years since the United States stood tall. Gangs run the world now. Gangs maintain order, or at least what passes for it. In Gotham, the city commander acts as judge, jury, executioner, and sovereign ruler. Bruce Wayne is long dead. Rachel Ghoul has released a virus on the world in order to start over. The demon's head begins to finish what the virus could not. But first, returning to Gotham and taking up residence in the Batcave. He creates a new brotherhood. What Batman should have been from the very beginning. What Gotham needed him to become. The greatest of all Ra's al Ghul's soldiers were gathered together, the best of the best, to become the Brotherhood of the Bat. The Brotherhood of the Bat. But amidst the chaos, amidst the corruption and anarchy, Talent, the son of Talia al Ghul and the one true Batman Bruce Wayne, has been training all his life. And finally he's ready. Ready for the truth. Ready to take the mantle. Ready to meet the now retired James Gordon and his elderly daughter Barbara. Ready to become the true Batman and bring down the Brotherhood of the Bat. Bring down the city commander. Bring down the gangs. Bring down the demon. Tollant is the son of Bruce Wayne. And he is the heir to the Bat. This story pretty much reads as a what if Damian Wayne was conceived by traditional means and raised not in the League of Assassins, but raised as the successor of Batman. By the end of the story, the character of Talent pretty much becomes a resurrected Bruce Wayne. He proves himself a master detective. He proves himself capable of taking down the entire Brotherhood of the Bat by himself, nonetheless. He proves himself capable of standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ra's al Ghul himself and even refuses to kill no matter what. Finally, he proves himself a great scientific mind by coming up with a cure to Ra's al Ghul's virus. Finally, he proves himself a great scientific mind by coming up with a cure to Ra's al Ghul's virus. Talib becomes the resurrected Batman and continues his father's mission of saving Gotham with his mother, Talia, at his side. You know, <clears throat> I really enjoyed this uh, graphic novel. Uh, it was created in 1995. Brotherhood of the Bat was pretty much the precursor to stories like Batman Incorporated and the Son of Batman story arcs. Both storylines take heavy influence from this one Elseworld story. And an argument can even be made for the film Batman Begins as well. Um, I purchased this at Target. It was in a bundle pack. With a few other uh, comics for like five bucks or something like that. Uh, very good buy. Very well worth it. Uh, must read for all Batman fans. Um, I will give this a 9 out of 10 stars. I highly recommend that you guys go out and pick up a copy. And uh, check it out for yourself. That's 1995's Batman, The Brotherhood of the Bat.
And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.